Hi, this is Mark Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw shapes so you can design using your mouse. Okay, so far in this course, we have talked about this tool and also the most ignored tools in Photoshop. We don't use them, we use the shortcuts, space and control space. And now in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to this tool right here. This is the one we are going to be using to create shapes. Shapes. Okay? So, let's select it. If I just click on it, I will be drawing a polygon. Right now it has an hexagon. This is used to create a polygon. But what if I want to draw, for example, a square? Well, I can click and hold, and then I can select a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, an ellipse to draw circles, or a polygon, the one I used to draw a triangle. Okay, so let's, for example, pick the rectangle tool. Okay, I can just go to the workspace and click and drag. What is going to happen? Well, I don't know. Let's do it. Boom, it created a rectangle. Wait. Why is it gray? Why not other color? Well, when you create a new shape, the settings you have right here, right now ignore everything else. We are going to start discovering each of the functions as we need them. So right now ignore everything and now I know that if I'm going to create a new shape, I know it's going to be gray and is not gonna have a stroke because the stroke has this cancel icon. Let me show you what the stroke is. Right now we have the layer right here selected. What if I want uh, some outline? Maybe I want some red outline or some black outline. Well, I can just with the layer selected and the polygon tool selected, I can click on the stroke and I can pick the type, wait, 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 let me use white. I can choose between those types. This is cancel, that means it won't have any stroke. This is a plain color. This is gradient, and this is a pattern. You can experiment with those, but the one I use is only one of those two. The color, okay, or the none. Right now, let me click on it and select a plain color and make it black. And now it has a black outline, you see? There it is, right? So I can edit the fill or the stroke. Of course, the fill, for example, can be a gradient, but I don't usually use those. I just pick plain colors. Let me pick my recent color. All of those, everything you see here, are the recent colors you have chosen, okay? I use this a lot. So one thing you can do to change the color is pick from the color swatch or your recent colors or select a new color by clicking on here, right there. If you click on it, you will be able to edit your color. Let me click on it and check this out. Now I can choose any color I want. Let's choose some green. You see? Now something else you might notice is this panel right here, the properties panel. That one always shows up every time you create a new shape. So you can access all these functions right after you create your shape. Again, if you want to explore all of this, you can always go to help and check the resources there. Right now, I'm only going to focus on just those three. We know the fill, we know the stroke, and now we are going to discuss the width of the stroke. You can access these, these options are always there in the properties panel, but you can also have them show here. Okay, let me hide it. Let me create a new shape and it shows the properties panel, you see? Now I can change the width. Let me change it to something a little bit wider, maybe like that, and I present there. Or I can do the exact same 
by clicking in here. It's the same, exactly the same. Any of those, these controls here and those in the properties panel are the same controls. But these ones sometimes show and sometimes they don't show. This up here is called context functions because right now I have the rectangle tool selected I have that showing but if I select another thing for example the tool selection I disappeared now it gives me the functions of the selection tool but in the properties I keep those settings I can change them very very easily if you want again you can just click and drag and have this panel in the middle of the layers and your color but I just like it right there where it is because anyway if you create a new shape you're going to get that panel shown automatically okay so that's the rectangle tool now let me show you another tool the pen tool uh, right now we know the we know the selection tool the rectangle tool which also can be a triangle or a circle is the shape tool actually and now I'm going to show you the pen tool this is to create anything you want let me select it and this one will have all the same properties everything it, it, everything is gonna remain the same and if you create something if you create any shape you are going to get the properties panel shown also okay but the advantage of the pen is that you can draw anything you want this the rectangle is limited to geometric shapes but with this one I can draw whatever I want let me show you I have the pen tool selected and I can just click 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 and I'm creating a custom shape you see and if I want to close it I can just click on the initial vector and that closes my shape now what if I want some roundness well I can click click and then if I want something round maybe I want some circular shape right here and then finish like this and not something like right so for that I can just use vectors if I want to continue drawing I have to control click on the point and then I can just continue right here I can just click and drag and that gives me a vizier handle this controls the curve between two points so, okay so I can click and drag again and then click and drag and then I'm just going to click without dragging and then I close the shape okay so now you know how to draw shapes you can create any geometric shape or you can draw whatever you want using the pen tool okay now in the next lesson we are going to use these techniques to design a futuristic gun for science fiction okay see you in the next lesson <laughs>